Hello. Hi, I'm Vandry. Once again, we're back at my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And once again, I'm in a place I don't want to be. But I'm here because they pay me. <laughs> again, still working during the pandemic. Still got a job. Still out here. I don't know what that is. Making moves, I guess. But, yeah. Um, I really just... <laughs> so... In case you're wondering why, why I even had a plastic surgery video yesterday when I have no, no plans to get any type of plastic surgery, is because I've been watching um this YouTuber. Her name is Lori Hart, Harvey, Lori Hill, Lori Hill. I'm, I'm like I'm thinking of Steve Harvey's daughter, <laughs> but Lori Hill. She talks about celebrities who may or may not have work done. And I, I was like, that is a very good thing. And then, like, she say may or may not. And then you see the before, you see all these pictures she's been, she been gathered over these years. And you're like, they may, they have had plastic surgery. And you're just outing people. But keep it up. <laughs> but yeah, that's why. I also watch a lot of botch. A lot. I also, when Nip Tuck first aired, mind you, I was a child, probably like a, anywhere from a child to like a teenager, and that's that was one of my favorite shows growing up was Nip Tuck. So I have this like at one point in my, my in my head, I was gonna be a plastic surgery, plastic surgeon. I'm a janitor. Life decisions. In general, poor life decisions it has ended me here. But not even poor life decisions, just odd ones. Mm -mm. But, yeah. I also noticed my YouTube channel has, is, um, it only has two subscribers. I don't, eh, to me, that's good. Let's keep growing. Hopefully next year my page start taking off, but if it doesn't, I'm still going to probably upload every day. Because even if it doesn't kick off or does anything, it's still a great way to just keep a video diary of stuff and how I feel and go back and look at how I feel and see how much I didn't progress and how far I didn't get. Because this is not my first YouTube channel. I had another one. And then, I don't know, I may or may not link it. It, mm, <laughs> it was weird is there's a lot of videos of me covering stuff and you see me progress as a singer. You see me progress as a singer as I, in case you're wondering why I paused, there was something that popped up on my screen from Snapchat and I was reading it, but you see me progress as a singer. Like getting better at vocals, and you see me come up with original rap songs and stuff like that. But other than that, it's a bunch of videos. I can't. I, I, some of them I don't even know. Are they problematic? Or are they not? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't answer that question. I'm not gonna tell y'all what some of the videos about. So. Past is past. Let's leave it there. But also, I'm on my break. I don't have nothing to eat today. Well, I'm not eating today. Today is not one of the many mug bang like it's many mug bangs. Cause that's what I be having, small little mug bangs on my break. But not today. I ate this morning. I actually could have filmed the video. I should have. But me just getting ready for the work. I had more than enough time. I said though still was almost late. Cause I still didn't leave the house to like six forty. I was I've been up since like four o'clock. Like they it not like the beginning of four o'clock, like they like four fifty something, four forty. I've been up since then. Then I just been look, I got ready. I took I took a shower. I did my like skin morning skincare routine. 
I brush my teeth and stuff. Like, reap, um, put the, I got two buns on my head, or ponytails, or whatever. I just got my hair pulled to the back. And, I keep messing with the hat, because I won't. I don't like how it's sitting. <laughs> I don't like how it's feeling sitting on my head, so I keep messing with that because of the two bonds and stuff. But I'm not gonna pull my head out because my hair look rough on the head. Just because I been, I don't put no gel on my head, so my hair can't my hair can't hold nothing without gel. Side note: I know this is supposed to be natural. At some point, this is supposed to be a natural hair channel. And I'm supposed to have, like, way more natural hair channel, more than these commentaries I have. But this is more and more becoming a commentary channel. And plus, I'm not a product junkie. So I really can't just, I really can't just um, tell you what you can and cannot, what does and doesn't work. I I use a limited amount of products because I, I just... I'm just tight. I'm not finna go shell out all this money for a product that's not gonna work when I have sure things that I know work that's reasonable price that I'm not gonna end up having to sit up in my closet and gather dust because I'm slick allergic to it or my scalp doesn't like it. Because I know there's anything. I'm finally cutting out ego, probably. Yeah, I am. Um, just like I had to um, stop using some African pride stuff. It was giving me really bad dandruff. So, can't use it. Not going to use them. Although they, although they was making my curls pop, pop. But no. Popping curls is not worth having a fucking flaking scalp. Like having pieces of your, like peaches of your scalp lifting up. <laughs> That's a, no. I'm good on that. But I don't know what can what else I'm gonna talk about. I would make a YouTube like a hair video talking about. There's, there's actually no, there's no real way to make your hair grow faster. You can only, the only thing you can really do is stop your hair from breaking. And that what makes, that's what keeps, that's what makes, that's how people get long hair. Their hair is literally just not breaking at the ends. And they're able to retain more, more length. Their hair is not splitting, their hair is not breaking. That's literally, that's literally... The, one of the biggest secrets, making sure your hair is moisturized and making sure it doesn't break. That's the secret to long hair, hair, healthy hair, and a healthy scalp. Making sure your scalp is fairly clean and like not covered in like burn chemical burns, build up and stuff like that. Like healing your scalp, and that's a lot of y'all haven't took taken out the process, taking out the time to heal your scalp. And how do you heal your scalp? Eh, it's very simple. Oils, oils, some grease. I don't know, blue magic maybe. I know blue, blue magic for sure. But oils, grease, blue magic. I'm really, I really should just say blue magic, but, um, and aloe vera. Those are the three things I know for sure that would help heal your scalp and have a healthier scalp. There's probably some more stuff you can put on your scalp, but I'm not, I know what I use. I'll either use an oil such as like tea tree. I like tea tree and, um, Peppermint oil. I also like rose hemp oil, but that's more on the hair. I like almond oil too, but that's more on hair than scalp. But and aloe vera, it works wonders.
Avengers magic nation scout feel amazing so yeah and then blue magic I just use that to grease my scalp and grease my hair and it's a nice it leaves everything nice and stuff I don't over grease my scalp so it doesn't have that oily residue on it and I don't so it doesn't have a like you come and feel my hair doesn't leave your hand like really oily and stuff no I use just enough to keep my hair like to lock in moisture and keep my scalp like not dry and not flaking but that, <laughs> this is probably the most most helpful uh <laughs> most helpful natural hair things I didn't did so thus far I also had to do a video showing y'all how I do aloe vera cause I squeeze my aloe vera I end up squeezing aloe vera and making to get the juice out <laughs> but I'm gonna have to show y'all one day how I do it and then show y'all no, I already got a video of that. No, I update a video of what I put my aloe vera juice in and how I go through my scalp and stuff. Because I saturate my hair to the point where <laughs> you think I did a wash and go with the aloe vera ju juice. Also, I'll, I always wanted to try flaxseed gel, and I'm going to have to make me some at some point. Yeah. And, hmm. What else I was to mention? Oh yeah, there's two people's product. There's only of all the natural hair YouTube and hair channels I watch and stuff. There's only two people products I want to try, and that's Natural Eighty Five uh, Melanin Hair Care. I want to try the whole line. Don't have no money. Well, I have money. I have bills. I have bills I have to pay, so I don't have extra money. Oh. So, there's that. And then I want to try Brad Mondo's. X Mondo stuff. Because he said his stuff works on natural hair too. So I just want to see. I want to see it. All right. Are we sleeping on Brad? I don't know. But. That's. That's mainly what my ch channel. That's mainly what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. What I've been thinking about. Brad got some new shampoos I want to try. And Natural 85. Whitney Natural 85. I just want to. <laughs> she got. I just want to try everything she come out with. I, like. I've. I followed this lady a long time. <laughs> like her. I, at one point I was following her. Like regular life channel too. But. I didn't do back from that. I still like, like they say, once you get to a certain point and you did all these styles and stuff, it's re pretty much no more. And I, and I watched everybody. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I guess I could show y'all how to braid, but that's for another day. And that's for, that's when I get help with camera angles. But peace, love, positivity, and love to everybody. Have a blessed day.